Hello, Nuggets. Just got back from my walk. Hmm. I just got back from a walk. And um, so I had thoughts today. So uh, yesterday or two, two videos ago or so, I was talking about the step between treatment and script and about how today I was going to uh, start writing the script no matter what happened. I was going to execute the, the step. And I looked at my log line this morning, and actually it's not perfect. It's a little bit wrong, so I've still got to work on it. But I made myself a promise to start doing the script today. So even without feeling confident that I was at the right position, I'm confident in the story, but I, I felt there was a missing a step. I'm like, you got to start. you got to start. Open the screenplay program. So I did it this morning. I opened Fade in Pro. And I put my music on and I sat with my hands at the keyboard and I promised on the video I would do whatever comes out. And the first thing that came out was to take all of the treatment and transcribe it into slug lines. So I did that, right? And then I took the treatment, I broke it down into synopses, little, you know, scene synopses or location synopses and moved that across, right? And then at one point, I was going through the scenes and I thought, ah, oh, you know what, actually, I think this will work better if I kind of move that afterwards. And I'm like, wait, you're doing it. You're doing that thing that you did before. So I had to go back to the treatment and say, no, can't do that. Now, I actually did do that. But in this case, it wasn't changing the, 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 um, the flow of the story in any way. It was just narratively put that bit before that. So that was OK. But then I started stressing about, well, should I change the treatment to reflect that I switched those two things around? I don't know. But anyway, I got stuck into it like I promised myself and I got the whole movie beat it out in Fade In Pro, which I use instead of Final Draft. If you're still using Final Draft, I highly encourage you to stop. Stop supporting their crappy business practice of charging writers $300 a year for a piece of shit software and then not always being backwards compatible, not supporting it, uh, not fully functional software. All of the myriad of issues with Final Draft, stop supporting that shit. Go buy Fade in Pro or one of the other ones. Write a duet, I hear, is good as well. Um, which is admittedly still $70 and you still pay for it. But if there's bugs in a $70 piece of software, it doesn't break your heart like a $300 piece of software. Anyway, what well, I did. So I got to Fade in Pro. And um, I worked on the index cards and I laid it all out. And uh, it felt really good. I'm still not sure if there's something I'm missing in between, but then I thought, well, maybe this is the step in between because I'm taking sections, paragraphs of the of the uh, treatment, and I'm moving them into the synopsis for that index card, so that scene. Uh, it's not the description of the scene. It's two different things, which is actually a bit annoying. I wish Fade and Pro would fix that or change their policy on it. But putting it into the synopsis for a scene and then taking the next bit, moving it over, the next bit, and then like, this is a big chunk, that feels like two locations, switching that out and making that two locations, you know. And so eventually I can look at all of my slug lines and synopses in Fade in Pro and say, uh, okay, that's the story. I've got it all. Well, I finished that today. So that felt really good. Did two hours work, uh, which isn't that long, but it was two hours of real head down focused work. Like I didn't look up from my keyboard for two hours. It was really good. And I'm probably going to do, I think, another two or three hours this afternoon. So it feels very connected and it, uh, it feels really, really good. Um, but I don't know if I've missed the step that I was worried about in that previous video. But I just had to get on with it, basically. I had to do it. So um, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep taking the synopses for each scene in my screenwriting software, which is Fade and Pro, if I haven't mentioned it a hundred times. Um, I don't have stakes or shares in them, by the way. But um, I'm going to take those synopses and I'm going to break them down, break them down, break them down, break them down, and say, okay, this is the entire sequence described visually, and then move on and do that all the way through. Because right now it's only about 30 scenes, and I think it will probably end up being, you know, 80, 90 scenes total. Um, but that's where we got to today. So it was a good day. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, in the last two days, I have been asked to do things that would interrupt my writing hours, and I said no, and I'm really proud of that. Because <laughs> I like to say yes. I do, I like to say yes. It makes me happy to say yes. You want to come work on this movie for no money? Yeah, I'll do that. You want to help me move? Yeah, I'll do that. I like saying yes, I really do. Um, I'm a bit of a people pleaser, you know, like me, like me, love me. I'm a bit that, so I, you know, I tend to want to make people like me so I say yes when they ask me to do things well the last two days I was asked to do things that would interrupt my writing hours and I said no and I'm really proud of that 
So, I mean, I feel that that means that I'm taking myself more seriously. This is like my third or fourth career and it's harder because I'm older this time. The other ones have felt easy, to be honest with you. It's like, yeah, you can do this, just go do it. This one doesn't feel like that, you know. It's not like, yeah, just become a screenwriter, you can just go do it. I've been toying with this my whole life, but now I'm like, I want to become a screenwriter, you know. Um, so I need to be able to take myself seriously, which includes saying, no, I can't do that, I'm working, you know, which I would never normally do if I'm freelance. Well, I've did, d- done that in the last two days. So the moral of the story, kids, is just say no. Just say no. Um, all right, that's it. I'm going to back do more writing. Try and make this shit happen for real. Oh, you gorgeous little nuggets. Have a lovely day, possums. Bye.